Hello and welcome to part three of my Champions League jersey review. And we're going to look at Group C, the group of the French champions, Paris Saint-Germain. And I'm wearing this because we're going to get right to Paris Saint-Germain to remind you how a Paris Saint-Germain away jersey should look like. And we all know the home jersey. You just switch this with this. Then you would get the classic PSG home jersey. But of course, that's not what we're getting. I'm not going to talk about the regular uh, home and away jerseys in the league. For that, you could have to go to my League 1 review. Because in the Champions League, PSG decided to do something different. The nice thing is that they're using the Jordan brand. Now that they have Nike jerseys for seemingly forever. But uh, using the Jordan Jumpman logo, I think that makes just something special. I think Paris is exactly the type of city where you want to do this. However, I do not agree with that you completely disregard your color scheme. You, you issue a black jersey with a gray center stripe. Make this dark blue, make it red, even white in the center, and you're a little bit closer to what I would like. Uh, the taping is the only thing where the red shows up, and it's then with black. And I don't get it. I really don't. And then the monochromatic crest. They will sell like crazy just because of the Jordan Jumpman. But honestly, I find them highly disappointing. As a third jersey, I would let them go through. But as a home jersey for a Champions League, no way. I'm sorry. Four stars. And I'm going to do something very similar for the Champions League away jersey now in white. Which is basically white with the same gray stripe. I even would say they're the same color. Now the crest is not is monochromatic in black, not in white, and we have the black jumpman. Other than that, it's the same thing. Four stars. Use a red stripe down the center. If you would do that, I think this would be a really great jersey, and maybe use a full color crest. But I know that they're trying to kind of rebrand PSG a little bit. Uh, ever since Ibrahimovic went there, they're going away from the old. They're trying to do something new. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I think the last PSG jersey that I liked was the year before Ibrahimovic came. Then the second city team is Napoli, which decided, or you, you already can see me, decided to um, accentuate their jersey by using a vault application, meaning um, what is the home jersey, which was all in Serie A, all nice light blue, has now here neon yellow, has neon yellow here, has neon yellow on the sides, all couple logos on neon yellow, the numbers on the back are neon yellow. It just doesn't look good, honestly. Uh, I gave, yeah, I gave this a six. With those, I have to downgrade this to a four. I'm sorry to say, I really would like Napoli, but actually, A, it's a cash grab. What's better here is that we have only one sponsor, but it's still the red one. I would love, rather keep the other one or make this one. You know, if this was even the vault pattern, oh, that, that, that would be something. But yeah, at least there's only one sponsor. But yeah, I gotta give this a four. It's just too garish, in my opinion, and there's no need except for making additional money. Uh, it's true to a lesser extent for the away jersey, where actually they keep the uh, light blue that they had between the black which actually is, is a nice touch but then the neon yellow copper logo and here on the side yeah it's a l i guess in match play i also have to downgrade this i think i gave the original one a nine and this one is an eight it's not as bad as the other but yeah i, I, I honestly even don't like the template all that much with the stripes here, they don't make much sense to me. So yeah, Napoli, good thing is the sponsor is less, but uh, you know, instead of keep pulling that one a little bit down, they just keep it high and keep the red. If it wasn't for that sponsor, I probably would have a Napoli kit already. I'm quite certain of that. I don't think that they will wear the third jersey uh, in, the, in the Champions League, but yeah, uh, we'll see. The Liverpool home jersey, if I see it in action, that's also one do for an upgrade, honestly. Uh, I like it more and more. I don't like the white stripe here, but I think overall a really nice jersey. Um, I'm going to upgrade this to 9. 
but it's really great looking. It really looks great. When I see Liverpool play, this is exactly the type of soccer jersey that I, I want to see. Um, kind of a little bit on my list. I know I have it in a little bit for Liverpool since the 2005 final, but then they are one of the more endearing teams in England, for sure, especially the ones that are uh let's say from the northern part so yeah from the big teams uh, you know if you ask me between liverpool and manchester united i probably would go more for liverpool so there you go i also upgrade liverpool by one i cannot do this for the purple away kit i'm sorry this is still a three i just don't understand the purple and the orange looks like clemson yes i went to the university of south carolina so three there and if it wasn't for the pattern this one would get a lot higher grade it makes a lot of sense i like the red uh, applications just why this pattern here i don't see the connection to liverpool that's i think what bugs me with this one most and therefore i'm gonna stay with the three it, it, it makes a lot of sense but it does something just doesn't connect with me if they would have made the home jersey let's make it in gray make it in white or something like that gray is just not a great color that's also what did interim with their third jersey. And then lastly, we have Cervenas Vesta and the home kit by Macron. I really like the striped look with the logo. Just why is the sponsor in blue? Doesn't make much sense. Make the sponsor in red, please. Uh, there's uh, the other thing is that the stripes are divided by uh, golden little pin golden pin straps which makes an interesting look and i think for Jovanas to start being the most successful team from serbia it also makes some sense not sure about the sleeve cuffs uh, that they don't go all the way around just the red strap goes over so that's a little bit weird also the color looks a little bit odd and the sponsor is way this white band is way too big i'm sorry to say i know it's a huge sponsor but you don't need to go especially since the g logo uh it can go a little bit further in so i think there was the room so the center red stripe and the other all the red stripes could have gone down considerably i would say uh, that makes a, an odd look also that the i know i saw the back is white so for that i think i'm gonna give this six the sponsor really destroys a nice jersey um, I really like the away jersey, that's the one they used twice against Salzburg. Um, it is smart because it uses the uh, dark color, which contrasts nicely, but you have the red and white in, so that makes it a really nice one. I'm gonna give this uh, 9 stars. That's a nice Macron uh, um, creation. And I also have to say the red third jersey with all the stars in there also makes considerable sense. Maybe the stars are a little bit too much 2000s. The collar looks like the France 2000 collar a little bit. But I think overall I also like this one. Not as much though as the away jersey. So yeah, but it makes sense. It's red. Uh, and if it is all red since Germana Sesta usually um, wears white shorts with the strapped uh, pants, the all red look is not all that unusual gonna give this eight okay that concludes part three i hope you liked my assessment let me know where you disagree with me uh, i know that the psg jumping jerseys are very popular and i can imagine disagreement i just want psg in these with this design and not something crazy and these colors at least and even the navy we can discuss I think it should be a more royal blue, similar to the Barcelona back there. Well, again, let me know what you think about these jerseys here. Uh, not I upgraded Liverpool, so I uh, have to take note of that. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I don't know which one I'm going to do next, whether it will be Group D or whether I'm going to pull on from the lower ones. I roll a die and let you know. Tomorrow you will see. But there will be part four and soon also part five. I'll talk to you soon.